we're here in Brentwood, Los Angeles. We've got what appears to be hundreds of people protesting uh, the location of Breitbart headquarters, Breitbart News. Breitbart is the uh, propaganda arm of the Trump administration, and we're here just to just to show them to the world. They've uh, had an undisclosed location. Uh, they publish without any opportunity to connect to them, to send any information or have any feedback. We're here just to show the world that this is where they are, and if you're going to publish things, you need to be accountable for what you publish. All right, so Breitbart News is the unaccountable, secretive propaganda arm of the Trump administration. Now, I know Ben Shapiro left Breitbart last year and felt it had just gone all in Trump. I, I understand that. But listen, can we be realistic? Are you going to tell me that there were not major branches of the media that served as the propaganda arm of the Obama administration? And are you going to tell me that, say, the New York Times has some kind of accountability or Time magazine has some kind of accountability or these different ones that come up with their, their radical hit pieces against Trump and, and, and for Obama or against Trump or for Hillary or whoever it's been, smashing and bashing the Republicans and, and siding with the Democrats and, and, and are guilty of all kinds of fake news as well, these major liberal media outlets and, and, and CNN called Clinton News Network and on and on. You're going to tell me that Breitbart, they are the propaganda arm for Trump and they are secretive and unaccountable and no one can reach them. And, these others, this is just the enlightened, fair news. Get a grip. Get a grip. What happens now is that there's a challenge to the other media. There's a challenge to the so-called mainstream media hitting from new ways, just as conservative talk radio challenged a lot of the liberal talking points, and those challenges remain every single day. The same way Breitbart is challenging a lot of the other liberal talking points. So what are you going to do? Brand it alt-right, racist, Nazi, white supremacist, rather than deal with the facts. So here's what I recommend. Read Breitbart, read Huffington Post, look at the headlines on Drudge, look at the headlines on New York Times, and compare and study and come to your own conclusions. But this kind of propaganda nonsense, it is just that nonsense.